Hey guys, welcome back to another Ncurses tutorial. In today's Ncurses tutorial, we're going to be talking about the change attribute function and its variants. I touched briefly on change attribute in my last tutorial, um, which was the third tutorial in a series on how to make a menu bar in Ncurses. I was making menu items and I touched briefly on change attribute, but I think it deserves its own tutorial because it's a pretty useful function to have uh, in your arsenal. Um, I've done a little bit of setup here. I just have the curses.h library linked, um, init screen and end win, obviously, a git char at the end so that way we don't just immediately exit out of the code. We have to wait for some input. I've also set up uh, colors here. Um, I've done a previous tutorial on that, so I'll do a little card up here to go check that out if you're curious about colors <coughs> and how to set them up in end curses. Um, so that's all the setup I've done here. I've set up a few color pairs just so we can use them for displaying some attributes. So with all that said, let's get started. So basically the change attribute function uh, starts at the current cur cursor position and it changes n attributes to either to whatever attribute and whatever color pair you set. So essentially this is the number of characters you want to change starting at the current position this is the attribute you want to set so like a standout or a normal or a underline whatever um, and this is the color pair you want to set so in this case it would be the number here one or two or you could do zero if you want the default color pair this final uh, parameter here is actually the, the documentation documentation says it's not used it's planned it's reserved for future use and that you should just pass it null that's literally what the documentation says just pass it null so that's what we're going to be doing for this tutorial. I know it seems like a waste, but that's the library we're given. So you have to pass it null, otherwise it'll give you an error saying you're missing the final parameter. Um, and of course this has all the same standard variants and end curses. These two, change attribute and move change attribute, work on standard screen. And then w change attribute and move w change attribute, I generalize it to any window, not just standard screen. So for the majority of this tutorial, we're going to be using chargat and move chargat um, because it'll just simplify this. I don't have to make a window and, and all, all kinds of stuff. So, But anything you do with these two functions, you can also do with these two. You just have to supply a window, essentially. So um, let's just give an example of what chargat um, can do. So let's just do use the vanilla chargat function which again we'll just start at whatever the current cur cursor position is which is zero zero because we just started and it'll move n number of um, it'll it'll change the attribute and color pair for n cells um, so in this case we'll pass it five because I'll just have it do five we'll pass it the um, attribute a standout so it'll basically just reverse the foreground and background so it'll be white um, and then we'll just give it the color pair zero, so it's just the standard color pair. And again, we have to pass. Oops, we have to pass null um, as the final attribute. That's just uh, part of the library, I guess. So now, if we take that code and we run it, um, so we'll make run. You'll see that starting from position zero and until position five, it's a standout. So not very exciting, but um, we can do some more to show what it can do. Um, so one of the cool uh, things about change attribute is that you can you don't have to pass it um, exactly how many characters you want. If you want it to just go to the end of the line, you can actually pass it negative one. And what that'll do is starting at whatever cursor position um, the cursor is currently at until the end of the line, it'll add, it'll do this attribute. So if we again make this and run it, we'll just go like that. Um, oh, I have to save this. That's a problem. So again, if we make that run it, you'll see it actually goes all the way to the end of the line. It might look like this is not the end, but that's actually just, that's the end of the terminal. Um, for some reason, there's this padding at the end of my terminal. I'm not sure why, but that is indeed the end. Um, it's probably due to the fact that there's the scroll bar or something. So that's one way to do the rest of the line. And for instance, if I moved to move the cursor to position five or zero five instead, um, it won't do the first five characters, but it'll do the last five characters. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of that first statement there. So we'll do make run here, and you'll see that it skips the first five characters because we moved to position 0, 05, and then it just does the rest of the line. Um, another thing you can do is if you 
um, if you if n is larger than the remaining number of columns, it'll do the same exact thing. It'll just go to the end of the line because chargat doesn't wrap to the next line. Um, so if you go over the number of characters that are available, it'll just go to the end. So if we put in a thousand or something, there's definitely not a thousand columns here. Um, so if we make that and run it, it does the same thing. It goes to the end, but it doesn't wrap around. Um, so that's one cool thing about um, chargat. Another cool thing about chargat is it doesn't advance the cursor. So if the cursor is at 0, 05, for instance, and then we run chargat, the cursor is going to remain at 0, 05 afterwards. So for instance, now if I do a print w and um, we print just hello uh, like that, you'll see that when we make and run, we so what happens is we move to position 0, 05. Then we do chargat and it does the rest of the line. And then we do move print w and it goes right here because, or not move print w, we just do print w. And because the cursor hasn't advanced, it prints it right where we did the move initially. So it does undo the attribute, and that's just because print w basically resets the attribute for that section. But one useful thing for um, to use change attribute on is, for instance, if you have a menu system, and you just want to highlight some text, you don't want to have to reprint it with an attribute. So for instance, say we printed uh, hello beforehand, and then we wanted to highlight it later on. What we could do is we could say, OK, um, we'll do a move chargat instead. And we'll move to position 0, 05, because after we do that print w, it advances past hello. But we want to highlight hello instead. So we move to 0, 05, we print hello. We move back to 0, 05 so that way we can um, highlight hello. Hi hello is five characters, so we want to um, change the attribute of five characters starting at 0, 05. And we're going to change it to a standout. Um, and in this case, actually, instead of doing a standout, let's do a normal. And let's do the first color pair just to show that the color pair thing works. Um, so if we make that run it you'll see that it um, applies that attribute to our printed text. Um, so essentially that's uh, kind of the cool stuff about um, change attribute and how you can use it in your code. Um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Um, as some of my next tutorials, I think I might make like a sneak ASCII game or something. Um, and then in later um, tutorials, I'll probably talk about panels, which are kind of an extension of Windows. Um, I won't tell you too much about those yet, but they're they're pretty exciting and they're fun to use. So um, again, I hope you guys like this. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. One last thing, um, I did want to give a big shout out to um, another YouTuber out here who's doing Encurses videos like me. Um, his name is KOS Code. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced and um, but really cool like awesome like crazy stuff you can do with end curses like things I can't even like imagine um, how he came up with this kind of stuff um, that's what KOS code does for instance he does this you know really neat 3d rendering stuff with end curses that you can do again a little bit more advanced but definitely worth checking it out if you're looking for the next step um, I'll have his uh, channel linked below and probably have a card or something up above about it. But anyways, yeah, go check him out. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And go check out KOS's, KOS Code's channel. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.